Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone out there in Facebook land. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Luis Reyes, your exchange's senior enlisted advisor. Today, we're waiting for our guests to check in just to make sure everything's all right. He's in the background, so we're going to chit chat a little bit because, you know, we have Julie Mitchell here, Leah Matthews, the new senior enlisted advisor coming on board next month, Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby. And we have a special guest today. We have uh, Staff Sergeant Adrian Mooney, right? How you doing, Staff Sergeant? I'm, Everything good? I'm pretty good, Chief. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Tell us where you're from and, and what you're doing. And how did, how did you come on the show? What happened? Tell us. So I'm here on uh, Fort Sam Houston. Uh, got here about a couple years ago. I'm the Department of the Army boss representative. I've been doing this for about a year and a half now. I was the boss president over in Bavaria in Germany. So it's very fortunate to be here. I love helping out the soldiers. So I took this position. Hey, could you tell us, um, so, you know, for, for people in the army, they know what the boss is. People in the air force might not be familiar with boss. Could you explain that and, and what, what your organization does for all the soldiers? So boss stands for the better opportunities for single soldiers. Basically what we try to do is we help ease the single soldiers into their army lifestyle and throughout their career. Uh, we set them up with life skills. Uh, life skills are events and activities that will help give them a skill that they'll carry on in their personal life and their career. So uh, let's say some soldiers say they want to take a snowboarding class because they want to learn how to snowboard and also want to become certified as a snowboard instructor. So we take them out on those uh, adventures and at the end of their training, they'll get their certification and they'll be able to use that throughout their career. And they can also tell their fellow soldiers, hey, um, if you guys don't have anything to do this weekend, instead of getting in trouble, how about you join boss and we'll go on an, an adventure together. Oh, wow, that's so, a great synopsis. Yeah, we're the commanders and first sergeants um, go-tos. We help keep their soldiers out of trouble too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're a, big, you're a big Saints fan, I heard. So before we get Latavius on here, they're working on getting them on right now. T tell us, what's up with the Saints? Um, I think, the well, obviously, you, most fans will say this about their team, but the Saints are going to the Super Bowl this year and they're winning it all. So, oh, are um, they? Okay. KO, yeah, KO. First, so. Come on now. <laughs> what you guys say about that, KO? I, I need to know if uh, Sarah Mooney's from America, because uh, America's team, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you're ISIS or uh, I don't know how that works. <laughs> but uh, Well, um, our boss is a very big Cowboys fan, and he, before I got on this interview, he was like, make sure you tell everyone that the Cowboys are America's team. But I don't know how that came to be, um, because if you go to the message boards, I don't know too many people that like the Cowboys other than their fans, so. There's a, there's a whole a whole nation of haters uh, for the Cowboys. And, uh, and there's a reason for that. And it's quite ironic, <laughs> it's quite ironic how, how, how people talk about the Cowboys more than they talk about their own team. So that's. I'm not one of those, he just happened to bring it up. I'm a Saints all day. You will never hear the Cowboys come out of my mouth unless we're here to debate about it. Yeah, so that's, that shows you the reach and the impact that the Cowboys have on the nation. I will give you that. I will give you that. <laughs> I'm sure. Awesome. So, so what do you know? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Osby. So, yeah. So you said the boss program. That kind of sounds uh, something like our Airman Family Readiness Center. Uh, do you guys work with uh, the Air Force? Uh, Air Force Airman Family Readiness Center it owns like similar or just kind of compare notes or, or something like that? Yes, I've seen some of my boss soldiers have paired up with some of the um, airmen and Marines because on most bases it's joint base. So uh, sometimes they work together to go do events and they take notes from each other on life skills that have been done, like skydiving, um, things like that. So yeah, we work in part with other branches too. Awesome. So we take our ideas from them as well. So it's it's pretty fun. Um, we've had, I think last year we did our 30th anniversary for boss. Uh, we did it over in Indianapolis and we had Marines there. We had uh, Air Force there to come get some training um, and learn how they can better the boss program, how they can help their soldiers out in the future, um, different opportunities available for them in the future, um, different life skill events that they can have with each other because maybe in Alaska, they do snowboarding and skiing, but then the boss programs in Hawaii do surfboarding and it's just two different uh, worlds coming together. So they, it's a good way to get some camaraderie and learn different things. Adrian, you see who that is? I'm do sorry? You see who, do you see who that is on the screen? Do you see oh. him? Oh. 
You see him? Mr. Latavius Murray. What's up, boss? <laughs> How's it going? Oh, man. Good to see you. How y'all doing? Yeah, good to see y'all. Hey, hi. Right, hi. How are you, how are you doing? Welcome to Chief Chat. All right, Chief Chat. <laughs> yeah. I'm a chief now. <laughs> we'll make you an honorary. We'll make honorary. you an honorary chief. Honorary. I appreciate that. You got it. For today. You. For today. Hey, so For I'm going to. That's right. I'm going to get this started just to get it going. I already made intros. We were just chatting by you while you had some time, uh, some time to get on. We're here. I'm going to pass the mic over to my successor, Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby. So here you go, Kevin. You got okay, it. bail transition. Y'all together, huh? <laughs> Seamless. Very simple. It kind of looked cool because it went in the right direction of the, of the camera, didn't it? <laughs> And Latavius, that was not intentional. That was a pure coincidence. I can tell you like that. <laughs> True professionals. So, so uh, man, we we I, we just had a conversation about um, how the Cowboys are America's team, and, and uh, just kind of making sure that everybody knows that team. across across the. <laughs> the globe. But uh, Latavius, I'm I'm a Louisiana native, and so mm. you are right in my book. So you you play for the my home state, uh, New Orleans Saints. So. You you good to go in my book. Appreciate that. But, but yeah. we want to we just want to first just thank you for joining us and, and, and giving us a little bit of your time. And um, so where are you where are you calling in from and uh, how you been dealing with this pandemic situation? Yeah. So um, man, appreciate y'all for even letting me join, allowing me to join. Um, I've been uh, called in from Orlando, Florida, just outside of Orlando. Um, and I mean, I think much like everybody else, just really just kind of taking it one day at a time. I think obviously every, I feel like every day could bring its own type of journey. You know, one, one I feel like any moment, who knows, we could have a, a shutdown again, but um, just been trying to stay safe, just trying to make the most out of it. Um, especially now with, you know, training and the fact that potentially we could be back in, into football. So um, doing what I need to do to stay ready if that happens, even throughout this is what's going on. So, so are you outside the bubble? Like, I, I know all the NBA players are inside the bubble, so I'm assuming you outside the bubble. I'm outside the bubble, man. I'm, <laughs> out, I'm in my own bubble over here, put it that way. Right? Awesome, awesome. Well, you stay safe outside the bubble. Yeah, appreciate it. So Latavius, we're super, super excited to have you with us today. And um, for those of us watching, our friends at PNG helped us connect with you to help boost morale for our, our military community. And you, for those of uh, us who are watching who maybe don't know you, you're an elite running back for the New Orleans Saints. We're really, really happy that you've made time to be here with us today. And you have such a huge heart for the military. And in fact, you've been part of P&G's Pro Camps for Military Kids, which launched virtually this month. Can you can you tell us a little bit about the P&G Pro Camps that you'll be hosting this week and then what it means to you to use your talents to lift those spirits for military kids? Yeah, well, um... First off, I've uh, I think I've I've always had um, a relationship with the military. Uh, I just even think growing up, a lot of family members, um, you know, been a part of the military, and and, and even closer to my fiance, um, who I've known for uh, since I've been 12 years old. And once we reconnected, it was after she had served in the military for you know what, eight to nine years. So. Oh, wow. She's still now switched over to reserves, but this would be, I think, 11 or 12 years, 13 years, maybe possibly she went right out of, uh, right out of high school. So, um, but it means everything to me, just again, having that uh, familiarity with um, military families and um, knowing that, you know, I know these kids kind of, you know, they, they travel and given the, 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 the world that their parents or whoever that relative or that family member, whoever they're involved in, um, just being able to give them and bring some sports to them, bring some activities to them, uh, a pro camp like that, I think that's what it's all about. I think um, it, it could do, uh, you know, an, an enormous amount for, um, you know, just for, for, for excitement, just for, for everything, um, you know, that, that, you know that they 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 may want to be involved in, but for us to bring that camp and that that uh that ability to them is uh, I think it means the world, and I, and I and I love being a part of it, and I enjoyed my time doing it last year. You.
I was on mute and talking. Excellent. Latavius, thank you so much. Knowing your love for our men and women in uniform, heroes would love to hear some words of inspiration from you. What words of hope and thanks can you share with service members and their families? Um, well, what I could share is that, you know, it's, it's because of, it's because of men and, and women, um, like, like, like my fiance and like Mr. Mooney and Mr. Osby, um, while, why I'm able to do what I love to do, while I'm able to go out there and play and play and do the things that I love to do from, from such an early age, um, dating back obviously to history. Um, and so when you think about the things that you have and what you're able to do, you know that it came from a place and sacrifices from other people. Uh, and you can look no further than, it, I mean, within your own family and outside of your family. So I always have that appreciation for those who came before me and those who sacrificed that, that's given me the ability to do the things that I love to do and live life um, freely. So um, that's just me as a man and understanding um, the sacrifices of, of, of those such as yourself, uh, that, that, that I'm in the position that I'm in to do the things I'm able to do. That's awesome. And everybody plays a role. You know what I mean? I think one, you know, you take a part of my, my fiance sometimes, you know, jokes that sometimes she's inland and not, and not out on sea, but she's been out on sea, but everybody plays a role. It's a team. It's, I know I've been a part of teams, but everybody plays a role. Everybody has a function. Um, that, that, that's a part of the big picture. Yeah. That's, there's so many parallels, uh, with, with team sports and, and military. It's, uh, I, I use it all the time to try to, you know, inspire airmen and, and, and let them know that they're part of the team and knowing their role and, and, and helping out their wingmen or their soldiers. And so, uh, I'm glad you brought that point up, but, um, just kind of harping back on myself. I'm a part of this fraternity that I really don't want to be a part of. It's called the, the dad bod incorporated. Mm -hmm. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, hey, that's the first time I heard that, man. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. So I know, I know you, you big on fitness and, and, you know, fitness is vital for your, for your well being. uh, uh -huh. basically, uh, which, what, what your job is. So can you, uh, fill me in on, on some fitness tips or some routines, uh, yeah. so I can get, get out of this fraternity that I'm in, um, during this pandemic. First off, man, you gotta want to get out of that fraternity, man. You, know, <laughs> you can't be proudly in the fraternity eating cookies and popcorn, you know what I mean? On the couch. Uh, yeah. You can't hang the plaques of the fraternity on your walls and all that. You know what I mean? But no, no, no branding. I can't get the branding. On the <laughs> nah, no branding. You can't, <laughs> you can't support the fraternity. I'm sorry. Okay. But no, nah, um, man, I just think, uh, you know, obviously healthy eating is, is, a, is a huge part. I think a lot of people kind of take for granted, um, you know, what you put in your body is what you're going to get out of it. A lot of people think you train so hard and whatnot that, they forget the part that's most important. Don't get me wrong, working hard and training hard is important, but taking care of your body is, is, is key. Um, and everybody's body is different. You know what I mean? What I could put into my body, you may not be able to put into your body. So figuring out and learning about your body and learning about yourself is huge. Um, um, but then, yeah, definitely putting the work in and again, figuring out what your body needs, training wise, physical. Um, is huge, but you know, some little tips I would say, man, drink a lot of water. A lot of people don't, a lot of people underestimate that. It's very simple, but water is just, it's key for, uh, for your metabolism, you know, for, for hydration, all that does, you know, what you wouldn't even believe crazy, crazy things for your body, even in losing weight, which you don't think putting that much into it may, but no, it, it, it does wonders getting sleep, getting amount of rest. I know it's hard, but getting rest and um, and then try not to eat too late. Try try to try to cut off that eating time frame. You know, let's say let you know start something realistic. But let's say don't eat after nine. You know what I mean? If you can get it down to not eating after eight um, and getting your rest. And I, I would I would honestly think I would say you would see a big difference in that though. And if you do those three things: eat, sleep, um, and and drink and hydrate. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'll, I'll be out of fraternity soon. All right. <laughs> yeah, let me know, man, so I could be at the graduation. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
I love that you brought up the importance of sleep. We had the Sergeant Major of the Army as a guest last week. He brought up the same thing. So you are in lockstep with what the with what the Sergeant Major was saying. Um, sleep is super important. Another thing that's important is being resilient. So how do you battle back even when the going gets tough as an athlete? Yeah, so um, I think it's a great question. I think it's something that we all – um, have faced or will have to face at some point in time um, and no matter what it is but um, you know I was so I would say my, my resiliency has shown through some injuries that I've encountered uh, throughout my career uh, beginning in college um, and then in the league you know I blew out my knee in college and had to bounce back from that and then early on in, in the league I uh, had ankle surgery and so uh, man it's just it's a it's a mental it's a mental concept that you got to get through that, you know, your body is capable of really anything. If you just able to put your mind to it and, and really do the work and overcome it, because a lot of that is uh, if you're not willing to put in the work, then you won't push yourself to that limit to bounce back from whatever that is. So I just think resiliency is it all ties into a mindset that you kind of got to have in believing that uh, whatever's thrown your way, you can overcome it. Um, and, and for a lot of kids that's dealing with anything, I just kind of tell them, you just, you know, you just got to understand the power of the mind. The mind can, you know, can allow you to do whatever you want to do. Good, good. Latavius, you've talked about nutrition and how that's so important to well-being. Do you have a, a go-to snack or a go-to meal that you could share with everyone? A go-to meal, go-to snack. Probably my fiance, she's big on, uh, I would say, man, broccoli with some brown rice or quinoa with, with salmon. Like, I think it's just, mm. it's, a, it's a clean meal that if, you know, you cook the salmon nice or however flavored you want it, you can do, you know, do some, you know, a, a crusted Parmesan type of flavor. If you just like it bland, switch, she switches it up. But I just think that's a clean meal. You get your, 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 your broccoli or your veggies with some brown rice some good carbs and you get that protein from the fish. It's just, it's like, I can eat it. I kind of, you know, every day, all day, every day, you know, to me. So I would say that's a solid one. Good stuff there. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, we normally go into some feedback from the Facebook live, uh, but we, we decided this time to invite uh, a soldier out of Fort Sam Houston, Staff Sergeant Adrian Mooney. He's a, he's a New Orleans Saints super fame. And so he is that why he quiet over here? Yeah, yeah. So, so this is time to shine, and he gonna he gonna ask you a question. All right. Make sure he's off mute. Oh, he he's mute. There, he's there you go. All right, Mr. Murray, how are you? I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm pretty good. Long time, long time, huge Saints fan over here. Um, I appreciate the opportunity that the exchange gave me to talk to you. So um, I'm going to jump right into it. Um, so how much of a culture change is it coming from the Minnesota Vikings to the New Orleans Saints? I've seen in documentaries and interviews, it seems like that locker room is very close. Um, they always watch out for each other. So what do you think is the biggest uh, culture change you've seen so far? Um, the biggest culture change that I've seen from, from the other teams is, um, I think it's just, a, it's a group that, that really has a lot of fun together um, in the locker room, on the field. I think it starts from the top, right? I think, and y'all know that it, when it comes to, you know, the line of hierarchy, but I believe it starts at the top with Coach Payton. It starts even higher up than that with Mickey and, 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 um, Miss Benson, but they allow you to be you. They allow you to express yourself and, and, and play and enjoy and have fun and play the game the way it's meant to be played. And that's fun um, and exciting. And so Coach Payton allows us to do that, allows us to be ourselves and allows us to have fun and enjoy the game in the locker room and on the field. And I think that carries over to, to the way we play. And uh, and as a player, I can I can truly say I appreciate that, and 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 I love being a part of someone, a coaching staff in a locker room and a culture like that. Yeah, but I can just tell from just watching the games on TV that there's a lot of camaraderie there. It's like a lot of brothers um, together just playing football, and that's what I love 
the most about the Saints is just how you guys just have fun each Sunday and Monday and Thursday and you just help each other out. Um, so I unfortunately have not been to a Saints game, but how loud is that stadium? Like, I know you've come from the negative side of the chance of, you know, every time when you were a Viking, you get a touchdown in the Superdome, there's a lot of booze. But now that you're an actual Saint and you get touchdowns, it's a lot of cheers. So what what is it like when the stadium gets loud and starts going? What What's the feeling you get? Yeah, so you like you said, man, I've been on the other side of that, especially, you know, when I was with the Raiders. Um, and we came in, in, in the Superdome game one. Never forget that, um, you know, crazy excitement. Uh, but I can, yeah, like you said, I can honestly say I prefer to be on the good side of that. <laughs> um, but it's, 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 a, it's a, what I tell people, it's a party. It's a party in the Superdome, man, and, 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 and you want to be there for it. And uh, it, I can't explain the, the energy, the, the vibe, the, that noise that's ringing in your ears while it's, when they're screaming and yelling when the defense is on the field, um, cheering for a third down stop, fourth down stop. Um, it's, it's the best environment that I've been a part of in the, in the NFL. I can honestly say that. Um, and so, uh, but we need to change that, man. We need to change that for you. And we need to make sure you get there, uh, you know, hopefully this season, if everything gets back to, to normal. And, uh, and, and, and I can honestly say if it's, if it's up to me and you're able, you got a ticket or a few waiting for you at will call. So, so you can enjoy your first game. As that a, would be awesome. I would love that. As most same. definitely. Yeah. So hold me to that and I got you. I promise. Oh. All right. I'm good. I will. Most definitely. Yeah. Hello, um, I like I like the Saints too. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, you already hey, listen, li- you already listen, listen, I was gonna say he started off this whole thing the wrong way. When you brought up the, when you brought up the cowgirls, your tickets were revoked. Uh, the cowgirls. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome though. Oh, um, hey, so like I said, um Sarmo Stats Harmony, man, we appreciate you um for bringing up football. Uh, man, we so we, we ready to get back to normal. I know, I know you are. Uh, Most Latavia. definitely, yeah. Um, and we all count down to the to like to the moments, the hours, the seconds until football starts. Yeah. So, wh- what do you think the, the game is gonna look like in in this new normal that we have of a pandemic? There it is, man. You know, so right now the the league is um they're in negotiations about m- m- the most important thing is safety. You know us going back to return, like how can we make it the most optimal place safety wise for the players? Um, You know, obviously there's risk in in everyday life with what's going on right now. But so we just want to return. They're trying to optimize player safety when we return. Um, And I think, I think they're, they're, they're close to figuring that out um, and getting everybody together. Um, and then obviously from there, just limiting the the exposure and 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 keeping it a safe environment for us to then return to play. So I don't know how it's gonna look, um, you know, as season wise. To be honest, you know, fans, no fans. I'm not sure, um, but I just know right now. I know that the the league and the NFL, the players' association, um, is trying to figure out most importantly how we can all return together. And, and, and stay safe to get back to, you know, doing obviously what everybody just is. I, I feel, I don't know if it's just cause I'm involved in it and close to the game, but if there's anything that people is like, look, what we, if there's anything else we need to happen is football, right? Like I feel that everybody feels that way. It's not, if you're a woman, man, it doesn't matter. Kid, it's like football season has to go on, right? So. Uh, yes, so I, I feel I everybody come, on that. I will come and pass out hand sanitizer or spray people <laughs> down, whatever needs to be done to get some football going on. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> so Latavius, before we go, I just want to read a few comments um, from our Facebook live feed. So Fit C, I'm not sure if this is a guy or gal, but Fit C says, who dat from Korea? And they got up at 0400, so 4 a.m. to watch this live feed from Korea. Tell them I say I appreciate that. That's love right there. And tell them to get Ar- some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Army family and MWR, that's who um, hooked us up with Sergeant Mooney. 
They okay. say, hi team, we are so proud of Sergeant Mooney, Department of the Army, better opportunities. Um, Fitzy also says, straight from the bayou. Lots of people are saying hi. Uh, Chris Ward asks, running backs take a pounding week in and week out. How many days does it take for the bumps and bruises to go away? Or is that basically something you just live with for the season? That, that's a, I'm glad he said that last comment. I was going to say yes. So mm -hmm. it, could be, it could be your first bump and bruise week one. And, and look, that's just something you're going to have to deal with. Hopefully it goes away and you, and you, you, you treat it. But uh, I know, I'm sure I speak for a lot of guys. So, you know, a lot of times it's just something that you just got to kind of ride out into you know, until until that hopefully that last Super Bowl game, and 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 at that point, uh, you'll be glad you stuck through it and 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 did what you had to do. But uh, but at that position, you know what comes with it. So um, so no complaining. Hmm. So we have lots of of great feedback, lots of positive things. Everybody's saying, "I love him." Uh, thanks for spending some time here. Thanks for spending time with my kiddos last year at Mayport. So. Lots yes. of people can't wait for football season to start and need to get back out on that field. I appreciate it. And shout out to everyone at Mayport, man. They, they showed a lot of love and they, they, uh, they show, showed up uh, for the camp. We had a great time. Um, a lot of great families, a lot of great parents out there that brought their kids. Um, so a lot of respect and love for them. And then you have a, a live tomorrow, right, with PNG. You'll be doing a pro camp tomorrow. Is yeah. that right? Or is that yeah. a live yeah. program tomorrow with PNG? Um, I'm not sure what time it starts. I know what time I got to be there, but we'll um, have it live here on our page too. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So then one last thing, can you remind viewers where they can go to follow along with you on social media? So I believe that, um, I, I believe pro camps may have a, a, a website or a, a, virtual link but i don't quote me on that mm -hmm. but i know you guys will maybe png may have a, a, a way for them to um to watch uh live and log on virtually uh so i would just say maybe check those three platforms um and yeah it's about i want to say maybe it starts at 9 a.m or east starts hey, hey guys it starts at uh 8 a.m central oh, okay. you're on the east coast so 9 a.m yeah. 9 a.m. Eastern, yep. So I was right about one thing at least. So, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then if they want to follow you, Latavius Murray, are you big on Instagram or TikTok or yeah. Facebook? What's yeah, your Latavius platform? Murray? I'm on Instagram, uh, Latavius M on Twitter. Um, TikTok is not my thing. Uh, <laughs> so, won't find me there. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I heard, and you know what? I heard it's because you know what? Look, so I have, I try to limit the social media. I try to. And I heard TikTok is just a whole nother avenue that I don't want to, I don't want to get involved in because I heard you can spend countless, countless, countless hours on there. Yeah. So, um, uh, be before we wrap it up, uh, Latavius, we want to give Stas Armoni another opportunity to ask a question if he has one last question. Absolutely. Hey, I'm back over here. Um, so just a quick question. So this upcoming season, it seems to be very interesting. Uh, I know you, like you said, you're ready to get back out there. America's ready for um, the Saints to get back out there. Um, so you guys added Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, you re-signed Malcolm Jenkins. Do you feel that the team right now is the team to go to get to the Super Bowl? Or do you feel like maybe there's some pieces missing? Obviously, as a Saints fan, I'm going to say you guys are already ready to go. But right. as a player in the locker room, what do you feel? I'm with you, man. I, you know, last year I thought last year was 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 the team to get there. Um, obviously, I feel even more confident with the pieces that we added this year. That we 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 have all the 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 weapons and the tools to 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 get there. But um, you know, one thing that I know I've learned over the years is that um, it's not about uh, what's on paper. It's about the work that we're willing to put in. That's true. And it, it all starts, you know, the minute we show up and and then and, and, and it all accumulates week in and week out if we're able to get better and improve as the as the season goes on. It's it's, it's about who's playing their best football in in December and January. Um and then obviously whoever plays the best on uh, February, 
that first week of February. So, um, you know, my mentality is to, to have just that for the team and, and, and hope others follow suit. But I think a lot of, a lot of us know on that team, what, what it means and what the season, um, what it means and the importance around the work that needs to be put in to get what, what everybody wants. All right. I yeah. like to hear that. Well, I appreciate everything that you and the team have done for the, um, for the U.S. military. We know you're out there doing great things and you're trying your best to help us out. Um, I want to give a shout out to the exchange and um, MWR teammates. Thank you for this opportunity um, for talking to Mr. Murray. And also I met you in 2017 at the um, tour of service in Germany. And I, yep. Yeah, um, back when you were a Viking and, I saw that Mark Ingram put on the suit with the dog, and I noticed I didn't see Latavius Murray with the suit on. So what, no, what, what happened there? <laughs> you know, man, it, Mark Mark stepped up, man, and and once he stepped up, I felt it wasn't no need for me to get in there and get this suit. <laughs> so, uh, and once I saw the way that dog did Mark, I figured, well, I have two people getting slung on uh, on on you know on camera. So, yeah, uh, so I just okay. was rooting for him and. And uh, obviously didn't look fun, but uh, but man, it's it's cool that I met you before. And, and again, small, you know, a small world that we sitting here on the, on, on on live again together. Yep. So I appreciate you and uh, your service and uh, your your, your uh, commitment to the Saints. And again, hold me yeah. some tickets and uh, do. let's go get that ring. Come on, make sure you juke a defender for me. I got you. Yeah, Mark. Mark should have worked on his jukes moves. Uh, that, Ooh, that, I, don't think, I don't think I don't think it was no juke in that thing, man. I'm serious. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know y'all know better than me how them things are trained. <laughs> so, yeah. um, man, uh, that's why Mooney kind of wrapped it up for me, man. We we really really appreciate you spending some time with us today. Um, big thanks to PNG for making this possible. But um, it, it's it's awesome how how much you've uh, kind of already invested into the military community. You. You know, your wife is is very heavily involved with the military, and 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 so it 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 makes us feel good to go out there and serve on behalf of the for the freedoms that we all share as, as Americans. Yeah. Well, I know the I know the, the 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 time and commitment that you guys put in, and uh, and I know the sacrifices that uh, you guys have to make. And you you mentioned it earlier. Um, you know, I know it's not the same, but in a sense, I think we're used to, we're used to structure, but at the same time, our timing is, you know, not always on our time. Um, and so I, I understand that and I appreciate, I appreciate that. So. Okay. So, guys. yes, sir. I appreciate that. We, uh, so we wish you all the best in this NFL season, even, even if you play for the Saints, you know, I, I'm, I'm still rooting for you, man. I, uh, I, I love to see, I love to see uh, good people do good things. And, All right. And so I was gonna say, in this person, thing the right way, man. Don't throw a don't throw a Cowboys <laughs> comment in there, man. In, in this the right way. All right. I got you, brother. I All got right. you. But uh, no, we appreciate you, man. And uh, like I say, you you I, you got you seem like you got a good spirit, man. And I can tell that from this interview. So uh, keep that positive you. energy uh, and keep doing what you do uh, to 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 give us some type of reprieve from all this craziness that's going on in the world. Uh, we definitely appreciate that. But we definitely want you to be safe. During this uh, pandemic, I, I I would rather not watch NFL if, if that means that you guys are at risk for for anything. Well, so, I appreciate uh, that. I really do. Thank you. So, uh, thank you guys. So, our airmen, soldiers, uh, Marines, sailors, and Coast members, Coast Guard members, we got the Space Force coming too. They we're already here. So, uh, we all appreciate you and, and and all the stuff that you guys do to keep us, you know, in, entertained and 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 uh, you know, thank you for this time. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Latavius. It was nice hey, to meet you. you. Good luck to thank you and your fiance. Thank her. Thank you for her. Thank her for your her service. You know what I'm trying to say. Thank I you. Got you. I got you. <laughs> Lily, Leah, take care. Bye. Louis, Bye, Latavius. Adrian. All right. Thank all right, you. Have a good one. Dallas out.